Welcome back to another Torch Review. Today I have the Wuben I333 in for testing. This was sent to me by the manufacturer to do a review on, so I'll run through everything that's included and some thoughts overall on the torch. Now this presentation box that you get is quite nice. Everything's put inside, including the instruction manual, battery and torch. You also get a braided micro USB cable with metal tips for charging. And it is a camo style paracord this appears to be made from this has a loop on the end as well as a, a ring that you can attach to the torch it also has the adjuster on it it's quite a long strap i personally would have gone with a fabric attachable to the torch but that's okay you also get two o-rings uh, one appears to be larger than the other for some reason only one of those fits and looking at the front of the box not too much to see apart from the striking design it gives us a power output of 1100 lumens on the side just a few logos and art styling there's some certification and some basic information on this side, including five power levels. And this uses a Cree XPL V5 LED. This is the included battery, which is rated to 2,600 milliamps an hour. This is a flat top, but button top or nipple top cells will also work in the torch, no problem. Onto the instruction manual. Now, this is a little bit shaky in some areas, partly because the font is very small. It's very hard to read, even if you have good eyesight. And some of the translations also fairly poor. You can work your way through it. Um, it does give you some runtime information. So I zoomed in here just to show you a bit clearer. You do have five power levels and two strobe modes. You can also use the CR123A cells, but I think they need to rework the user manual a bit. That could be better. Onto the torch itself, um, quite a bit of heft to this torch. In other words, the thickness of the body material feels very dense and the design is quite different. You can see the um, cutout sections on the body, the silver areas. We have a flap here for the micro USB port that flips back into place and closes down. And looking at the head section, the W for the Wuben, the manufacturer, that glows to show you the battery status. And we have the silicone cap on the tail switch. And there's two attachment ports here for the supplied hand strap now this is a look at the led the xplv5 smooth reflector now this looks similar to a tactical um, torch in terms of the reflector design but we'll have a look at that there's no candela rating on this but it gives a range of over 280 meters so we'd expect something like that for a bit of throw with this now the body is very thick you can see there the thickness of the aluminium it's the type 3 type as well which means it's heat treated and hardened and you can see the switch on the base cap here. They've gone for the um, transparent rings rather than black, slightly different. Now comparing it to a couple of other common torches, the middle one is the Lumentop EDC25, and on the right we have the Olight S30R Baton 3. And you can see it's quite a long torch. It's um, definitely one of the longer torches that I've used. Whether that's an issue for you or not, I don't know. Some people prefer a longer torch or a shorter torch. It's definitely not a short torch. Now turning it on, you just simply press the tail switch when you have the momentary on just half press you can leave it on as long as you wish so you have instant access to on at the turbo switching through the power mode is a bit different on this it starts off high and then it goes down through the five power levels right down to the moonlight mode so that's strange um, don't know why they've done that most torches usually go up through the levels now you can enter the strobe mode with triple press when it's on for the normal strobe. And then if you triple press again, you go into the SOS mode. So you have two strobe modes on this particular torch. Simply press again to go back into the normal power settings. Now, if you want to access the turbo at any power level, you can just push and hold the side button regardless of what power setting you're at, and it will instantly go into the turbo for as long as you hold that down. And that's a pretty good feature to have. And I can show you a different power level. Useful, the one problem I have is you do not have a memory. So it won't remember the last setting, it always goes into turbo. Look at the beam shot now. You can see we've got a very bright central area, but it does have a decent amount of spread on it as two. And at the moonlight mode, they're rating it to two and a half. I'd say it's a bit higher than that. It's probably about five lumens, but if you compare it to other tactical torches, it's a bit lower. So not too bad on that front. Drop test of one meter, no problems at all. And I submersed it for half an hour in water. Again, didn't have any issues. Just make sure that you close up the micro USB charging port. 
Now when you've got the torch powered on, you'll see the blue light come on. That means that the battery level is above 50%. The red light comes on when it's between 10 and 40% and it flashes when it's below 10%. So we're below 10% now, we need to charge the torch. In torch charging speeds were pretty good. That was the fastest speeds that I got, uh, 0.84 of an amp. So not bad, not the best that I've seen, but certainly decent enough. And once it's completed, the blue light comes on. You have to push the tail cap switch to start the charging. And the test came back very well for the battery. It came in at over 2,700 milliamps an hour, so it's above the rated specification. Now outside long range tests, about 90 to 100 foot, starting on the Wuben first. Um, I have to start at the high power levels because that's how the torch operates. You can see there's a pretty good power output from this, certainly nothing to complain about. You have quite a bright central area. At the higher levels you actually get a decent spill off this torch compared to most tactical torches. I'll now compare it to the S30R Baton 3 from Olight and I'll move up through the power settings. And you should be able to see there's a slight difference in tint, but once we get to the top power level we do have a bit more spread off of the Olight, so that is, uh, they are a bit different in that regard. So there's a bit more range on the Wuben. I'm alternating now between the two, Olight first. You can see the wider spread, and then on to the Wuben, which is a little warmer for some reason, and a bit more concentrated in the middle. But it's not a bad beam spread pattern on the Wuben. I quite like it that the Olight would have a more slightly more floody effect. Up close, again, we're going to have to start at the turbo setting and then gradually work down through the power levels. There's absolutely nothing to complain about with this torch in terms of the power output. It's right up there with the other torches that I've tested at the sort of 1,100 lumen mark. So they're, they're definitely not faking the lumen output on the torch. It really is quite a powerful torch. Up close, the beam shot spread pattern here. You can see, despite the fact you do have that concentrated area, you also have a fairly decent spread as well. Now onto the telephoto test, onto the tree. Again, decent performance, lights it up very brightly. Not quite as much spread as some of the floodier lights I've looked at, but uh, good performance. And again, telephoto on the uh, bush there in the distance. Pretty happy with the output on this. And into the moonlight mode, practical test outside. It is a bit brighter than some of the EDC torches that I've used. It doesn't have the super low lumens mode. Um, but it's okay compared to some of the tacticals. And onto the roof test, good range on this torch and also a decent spread, particularly at the higher power levels, you'd be quite happy with the power output on this. As with all torches, it does step down after a while. And here we can see the building in the distance actually lights that up pretty well, even though that's quite some distance away. Onto the side of the house test, starting off at the high levels and going through down through the power settings. The only complaint that I have is quite a big jump between medium and low, which you can see now. Um, it's not a huge issue for me, but it could be perhaps a little bit better spaced. Now, a couple of thoughts with the Wuben overall. I'll start with the areas which concern me or bother me more than anything. That is the rather odd choice to cycle down through the power settings. It's not the end of the world, but it is a strange choice to make for a torch. I would much prefer uh, normal operation cycling up through the power settings. The other thing which perhaps slightly bothered me is the lack of memory. So you turn the torch off. Every time you turn it on, you're straight into turbo. And that could be a problem, particularly if you've got night adaptive vision. And I'm not really sure why they've done that, because it wouldn't be difficult to add a memory mode to the torch. In the other areas, though, it's actually a pretty good torch. Um, the power output is very good. It's also very nicely built. You have a stainless steel bezel on the top, which you can use for self-defense. It'll also illuminate when it's put head down, so you won't accidentally leave the torch on. So it's a mix of good and bad with this. I think the general idea is good. And I think that they've done quite a nice job on term, in terms of the design on the torch, but I would change a few of those things. I'd also adjust the user manual, which is quite poorly translated, um, and the font is just too small. It's not an easy manual to read, so that needs reworking as well. But there are some nice points like the battery level indicator and the charging speeds were also good. And the included cell, while it's not quite premium, as some of the other makers, was a decent capacity. So thanks very much for watching the video. I hope you found that useful. And don't forget to subscribe where I'll be looking at more torches and other similar products in future videos.